In this example, we'll show you how to calculate the shear stress. And previously, we have done calculating normal stress. So in this case, uh, the load is acting at an angle. So there will be more both um, shear and normal. So in the x direction, it's going to be 120,000 uh, cosine 30 degree. And in the y direction, it's going to be 120 sine 30 degree. So this y direction force will cause this um, piece to slide right here and uh, kind of break. from there so the force this y direction which is uh, 120 sine 30 is half so that's 60,000 pounds so if I calculate that this is where the shear stress question is uh, shear stress which is expressed by tau the force by area so the parallel force is 60 kips Check the theories on shear stress, stress basic. And then the area, which is the cross, uh, the parallel uh, rubbing area. So this is the area we'll try to see. If we apply this 60,000 pounds force, try to push this way. If this support is kind of rigid and assume it's not gonna break or fail in the glued area here. So this, if you push this way, it will try to kind of break right here from this weak area where you have this big four inch diameter holes so the area of that piece area area is uh, that 2.4 we calculate two times four we calculated that before inch square so basically eight 60 divided by eight is 7.5 thousand kilo pounds so that is the shear stress calculation if you want to calculate the normal stress in this case you could do that too which is basically uh, 120 cosine 30 degree divided by same area just perpendicular to that force so this is gonna be I calculated is 12.9 ksi so less than what we have calculated before 15 because the entire force was acting perpendicular now some portion of force is acting perpendicular to this um, um, surface so that's why it's smaller but the primary reason we are doing it is to understand how to calculate the shear stress uh, one of the common mistake was in the class in the student when they, I asked this question in the exam they use this area remember this area is bigger it is 2 by 8 so you're gonna end up calculating very high um, lower stress so like that so this will be much lower than that so that's not right so you don't have much stress there so whenever you are asked to calculate the stress you always try to calculate the highest or maximum stress in this case where it's gonna fail so it's gonna fail where you have these big holes there so that is 7.5 ksi